Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to talk about King's Indian defense. What is it? How to play it as black? Which are some of the main options white can play against it and how to play against those options white can try. So we have King's Indian defense after the moves d4, knight f6, c4, g6, knight c3, bishop g7, e4, and d6. Something great about King's Indian defense is that it's a variation we can use against basically any opening white can try. So for example, if they play English C4 in, in move number one, we can use our King's Indian setup and we're going to be in a really interesting and dynamic position. So it's, it's going to work pretty well. Also, if they play Knight of three move number one, uh, we can still use this King's Indian setup and basically use the same ideas we're going to learn in this video. So, you know, it's going to be a very useful opening as black. So, in this position, white can try three main systems. Uh, there are other lines, but they are not more common and probably not better than the three main systems we are going to study here. So they can play Samish with f3, they can play four pawns f4, and they can play classical variation with knight f3. So let's take a look at the three of them. If white plays f3 here, the Samish variation is a solid and interesting line for white. But the good thing is that we have many options against Simish. We can uh, play in many different ways and still get interesting and dynamic positions. So we can castle here. Usually they will play bishop e3. And in this position, we have many options for black. We can play knight c6. We can play e5. We can play c5. We can play c6. Also a6. Uh, knight fd7 even is an option here. In general, the plans are a uh, target the center or expand on the queen side are the main ideas here. My favorite move for black pieces is going to be the move c5 here. I think it's really strong and I think black is getting interesting position. You're undermining white center, but also you want to make this pawn advance. So your bishop is going to be a really good piece in this diagonal. Also, we don't need to worry too much about this pawn here. As you can see, the pawn is hanging, it's attacked twice. But in general, if they uh, take it, we're going to have compensation because of the bishop here. That's a theoretical variation. You're not going to cover it right now, but I just want you to know that uh, it's a line we don't need to worry about. It's perfectly playable and we will have enough compensation. So, you know, that's Simish. Uh, the other line they can try in this position is going to be a four. That's four pawns attack. It's usually uh, much more aggressive. As you can see, they are controlling many squares all over the board, but, well, uh, this is part of the plan. We are enticing white to advance the pawns and create weaknesses and stop controlling squares over there. So once we undermine their center, we can create a important open lines and it's going to be a really interesting and dynamic mini game. So after f4, we just castle here. Usually they play knight of 3 we play c5 as we were uh, suggesting previously and uh, here they usually play d5 and we can play here like e6 uh, fighting that center observe that in this position white has more space and more control in the center but they still have the king in the center so it's a still a very complicated and very unclear mid game although very interesting position we should say so that's for pawns attack the other line we should uh, take a look at is the probably the most popular line, like the main line against King's Indian, that's classical variation. In classical, they develop the knight over f3, the bishop over e2, and then uh, they just castle. It's a very natural development. So knight f3, uh, here we castle, and after bishop e2, we break the center with e5 directly. In this position, uh, white should castle, and then we play knight c6. We want to make them play uh, d5, so they create some weaknesses in some squares. Also, when they play d5, uh, they are blocking the center. We can play knight e7 here. And what happens when the center is blocked is that there will be play on the wings of the board. So black is going to target our, or attack on the king side as white is going to attack on the queen side. This line is very theoretical, especially for top levels uh, among the elite. It's a really theoretical variation. However, among beginners and intermediate players, uh, we can try to understand the position 
more than just learn uh, moves or memorize moves. Actually, there are three theoretical moves at this point, 91, 92, or B4 for white. And, you know, that, that's the idea here. So usually we have very interesting games with this line, you know, very strong attack on the king side by black, very strong attack by white on the queen side, and the first one opening lines, creating the weaknesses and targeting or attacking those weaknesses is going to be winning very often. So, you know, really interesting games in this variation. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want to learn much more about King's Indian defense, typical tactics in the middle game, masters games to see a uh, middle game plans and general ideas, check out this interesting video over here. I'm sure you will enjoy it and it will help you a lot. Thank you so much, guys. Like, subscribe. See you on the next.